We're going to take a moment and a few minutes here to talk about a fight that's the biggest of our lives and the biggest for so many people. That's that's the battle with mental health issue. And you have been very vocal about your struggles with mental health. And I want to thank you for being vocal because you smashed the stigma just by standing 6'9", 255 pounds, being one of the baddest men on the planet. And yet you decided to be public with your mental health issues. Why? I just wanted to show the world that if mental health could bring somebody as big as me and as strong as me and, you know, the stereotype heavyweight champion of the world to my knees, then it could bring anybody to the knees. And I thought to myself, if I can show the world that you can come back from it and to get back in shape and get back to the top, then anybody can do it. I want them to see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel because no matter what they're going through in their life right now, I've already been there and done it. I will continue to go down that same path until the day that I die. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm no one special. I was a fat pig at nearly 28 stone, drinking and taking drugs on a daily basis. Changed my life around, I suffered with depression, up to the point of suicide, anxiety attacks, everything. You couldn't get any lower than I was. And here I am living proof that anyone can do it because I'm back today telling the story and inspiring millions around the world. When you fell into that depression, how dark was it? When you're waking up and you don't want to live anymore. You know, it's hard for me to say sat here because I'm not thinking in that mindset anymore. But there was a number of years where I did not want to live on a daily basis. I said to God, why have you let me wake up this morning? Why didn't I die in my sleep? And I had no real reason. There wasn't one thing that made this happen. This is a continuous journey for years and years and years of depression and anxiety. Why did that hit you? You were the champion of the world. You were the baddest man on the planet. Of course, but it wasn't after the fight. I've been suffering with it my whole life. So after I won the championship off of Vladimir, the Everest was climbed. There was no more for me to do. In my mind, I'd achieved everything I ever wanted to do. One being world champion and two beaten one of the greatest heavyweights in the last 20, 30 years. When I was 14, 15 years old, I used to watch Vladimir Klitschko on the TV as a world champion, heavyweight champion. And I used to say to people, I can beat that man. And nobody would listen. And going, yeah, 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 whatever. And the more I said it, the more I believed it. And it came true. So when something like that happens, when the unthinkable becomes reality, there's just nothing else for you at that moment. If you're an addicted personality and you, you, everything you do is all or nothing, when you achieve that greatness you've always wanted, you're like, is this it? What next? And that was exactly the point that I was at. It was two years later. i have been out for two years, out of the ring. I was 400 pounds in weight. They stripped all my belts off me, or I'd vacated them. Um, I was a shadow of my former glory. I looked in the mirror and I was, what's the word? What could I, embarrassed, ashamed, let down, disappointed. And it was, I remember the night, I remember it vividly. It was 2017, Halloween night. I remember reading George Foreman's autobiography. And I remember him talking about, he got on his knees and he begged God to help him when his nephew was ill. So I did the same. I got on my knees and I poured my heart out. I was crying, it was all wet down my chest. I was in that dark room for, must have been on my knees for 10, 20 minutes, thinking what, what I've done to myself. and Just let everything I ever wanted to say out. And when I got up off that floor, I felt like I was 210 pounds. For the first time in over two and a half years, I knew what I was gonna do and how I was gonna do it. And that was regain being the best heavyweight on the planet again. You know, you gotta crack on and realize that you did it to yourself. So there's no pity for an idiot. Just wanna say I'm coming back better than I ever was before because I'm not coming back to what I once was. This is a new me, this is a new Tyson Fury, this is a new book. I ain't going back to rewrite an old story. 
that book finished. It never, ever, ever was opened again. The legacy of Tyson Fury from a child to being heavyweight champion of the world and achieving his dreams, that book has been closed. This book is a new book, and I'm only on chapter three. And I feel, to be here sat here today, and to be in this position, I just feel blessed. I don't fear no man. I don't fear being knocked back out or even killed. I don't fear nothing. I, I think this is my calling card fight. This is my wake up and smell the competition fight. Have you already won? Coming back from what you've come from? Hundred percent. Being a fat, lazy bum with millions in the bank. There's no life at all. Being hungry and fit. And being a lion in the middle of a jungle. That's life. The comeback, being out all that thing going up in weight. The story behind it is a movie. Our journey back to the top is called Road to Redemption. I'm big, I'm good, and I, am, I train hard, so there's nothing stopping me from going to the top. I do believe a million percent, I can no doubt be a world heavyweight champion. I always wanted to be a world heavyweight champion professional. Anything less was a failure in my eyes. Aim for the stars, that's what I always did. I always only wanted to be the heavyweight champion of the world. And ever since, from being 14 years old, I never ever for one day doubted myself. I just want to say a big shout out to Deontay Wilder. You know, he came here tonight, he manned up, he really did show heart of a champion. I hit him with a clean right hand and dropped him, and he got back up and battled on into round seven. He is a warrior, he will be back. He will be a champion again. But I will say, the king has returned to the top of the throne. Yeah.